First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, the Father, only begotten Son, and the Holy Spirit. I come to preach this word in all sincerity and truth through the power of the Holy Spirit. Keep pushing, keep believing, and keep the faith, regardless of whether people are here for or bear. You know, I almost forgot double honors to the head apostles and elder bishops, a great millstone, who teach and who rule well. I'm going to get straight into it. This is a uh, Proverbs chapter 17 in the Words of Wisdom series. This will be episode three. I'm just going to be just pretty, pretty much just uh, reading line upon line, precept upon precept. OK, giving little anecdotes, breaking it down. Uh, these books, the books of wisdom, um, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiasticus, Wisdom of Solomon. These books are good for learning practical knowledge, how to move in the world all right so let's let's get straight to it so proverbs chapter 17 verse 1 better is a dry morsel and quietness therewith than a house full of sacrifices with strife so it's better to have little but with peace than to have a lot but with chaos a wise servant shall have rule over a son that causes shame and shall have part of the inheritance among the brethren. The finding pot is for silver and the furnace for gold, but the Lord tried the hearts. Verse four, a wicked doer giveth heed to false lips and a liar giveth ear to a naughty tongue. That's kind of like <clears throat> that, that kind of reminds me of uh, in the scriptures how it says that it says that uh, you are not of the world, so the world will not hear you. Um, People, you know, people who have wicked spirits on them, they can't perceive the things of the righteous. They can't perceive the things that come from the Holy Spirit. OK, and, and vice versa. It's foolishness to them and vice versa. The, the true men of the Lord uh, who have the Holy Spirit, you know, they not they not listen to things of the world of foolishness to us. OK, it doesn't it, it's pointless. It doesn't make any sense. It's, we, we see it as folly. OK, let's keep going. Uh <clears throat> Verse verse five, whoso mocketh the poor reproaches reproacheth his maker, and he that is glad at calamities shall not be unpunished. So I, I seen a I seen a video of a Jake, um, uh, taunting a homeless man, in a video. I think it was I think uh one of the elders said it was a skit, but but still that was some pretty uh, vile stuff. And you see that kind of stuff. You know a lot of that pompous arrogant spirit you see. A lot of Jakes nowadays, because of that that hip hop music, you know they they really they really do stuff like that. So, who so uh, mock at the poor approacheth his maker? You know, we uh, there's a scripture that says uh, it's in the book of Hebrews, I believe. It says, uh, "Be careful how you entertain strangers, for you entertain angels unaware." And he that is glad at calamities shall not be unpunished. Who's glad at calamities? Esau. When Esau sees when he sees uh, destruction come upon. The Israelites, Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, so-called, uh, he, he rejoices in that, of, of course, because he's the one that's devising all those things. But it's all under the will of Yahweh Bash and Yahshai because the wicked is just the left hand of the Heavenly Father. He's his perfect balance. The wicked is just the left hand of the Heavenly Father. That's why we don't we don't fear we don't fear Esau. We don't fear the spiritual demon Satan or any day anything that they, they can bring because you gotta understand that. If if Yah Bashim El Shai sends them against you, he will, unless you just out here doing wickedness, you know, if you sin against him, then maybe you're gonna face judgment from that, you know. Uh but but if you if you if you're doing if you obeying the law says commandments to the best of your ability, you out there doing the work, you're on the highways and byways, then you know that when, when the spiritual demon Satan comes after you to tempt you, then it's, it's like I said, it's not to destroy you, it's just uh it's just for edification. Okay, as as Sirach two and one says, my son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thyself for temptation. All right, that's just part of the game. Let's keep going. It says, children's children are the crown of old men, and the glory of children are their fathers. Okay, so, uh, pretty much, it's a blessing to be. It's like a crown upon your head to be able to live up to old age, to even have grandchildren. And the glory of children are their fathers. So, like uh, one of the uh, one of the brothers I was teaching at camp this past week, this past weekend, he's talking about how you be judged off your father's name. If your father had a bad name, then you would automatically be seen, 
you know, under that same light. Okay. Uh, verse 7, excellent speech becometh not a fool. So excellent speech. And what's excellent speech? Speaking these words. Um, speaking the words of Yahweh Shai. All right. That's that's excellent speech. You can you can never you can never fail when because you gotta understand that every idle word that a man or woman speaks, he will give account thereof in the day of judgment. Okay, so we so we gotta make sure that you know we not uh, that folly is not coming out of our lips. Because let's see what the next one says. Much less do lying lips a prince. You know, if you wanna be you wanna be a heir, a joint heir, you know, with the king. Then you can't have lying lips. You can't be speaking folly. You see. All right. Verse uh, verse eight. A gift is as a precious stone in the eyes of him that hath it. Whithersoever it turneth, it prospereth. He that covereth a transgression seeketh love, but he that repeateth a matter separateth very friends. All right. Verse ten. A reproof entereth more into a wise man than a hundred stripes into a fool. So pretty much what that's saying is that, I mean, that's that's pretty simple. That's pretty much simple right there. When the Lord sends correction, a wise man, he's going to take heed to it. But a fool, you know, he'll get a hundred stripes. He'll get a hundred whippings in the back, you know, spiritually. Or the Lord might send him spirits creative of vengeance after him, them evil angels, and he get it in, in the physical. You know, he still, he still won't turn back. He still won't repent. And he still won't get right with the Lord because he's a fool. He, you know, fools can't discern judgment. Uh, evil men understand not judgment, but the, but the righteous understand all things. It's in the book of Proverbs too. All right, verse uh, eleven. An evil man seeketh only rebellion. Therefore, a cruel messenger shall be sent against him. And uh, that word um, messenger is angel. It's, it's synonymous with angel. And it talks about that uh, Psalm seven eight forty nine. The Lord sends. Uh, he says trouble. And uh, and tribulation by sending evil angels among them. Okay, so evil man seeketh only rebellion. He's always looking. He, he got a froward mouth. He's always looking to cause chaos. Always trying to start um so, so discord. Right. It says therefore a cruel messenger, meaning an angel, shall be sent against him. Verse twelve. Let a bear robbed of her whelps. Her, her, let's let's get let's get that right quick. Pretty sure that means children, but. See. Okay, a little puppy, a cub. All right. So, let a bear robbed of her cubs meet a man, rather than a fool in his folly. So it's better, uh, pretty much the ending of the ending of a man meeting a bear that had a cub stolen is better than a fool that's in his folly. Whoso rewardeth evil for good, evil shall not depart from his house. The beginning of strife is as one letteth out water. Therefore, leave off contention before it be meddled with. So, so I can, mm, long day. He that justifieth the wicked and he that condemneth the just, even they both are an abomination to the Lord. Wherefore is there a price in the hand of a fool to get wisdom, seeing he hath no heart to it? So you, a, a fool can't buy wisdom. He don't have the heart for it. The heavenly Father, the only begotten Son, has to, has to, Yahweh uh, has to, has to um, give him the heart. He has to give him the spirit to be able to receive that wisdom. Okay, and if he's not part of the elect, it ain't gonna happen. So that's why that's why that, that scriptures in the, in, in uh, Revelations it says. It says, he who is holy, let him be holy still. He who is righteous, let him be righteous still. He who is filthy, let him be filthy still. Right? All, all that. Because, like I said, man, the Lord, you know, who, who, can, who can make straight what the Lord created to be crooked? You see, the Lord, he has, he, he foreknew the ones that were chosen to be part of the elect. Okay? So, and they're the only ones that's really going to receive the knowledge of the truth and the mysteries of the kingdom. All right? Let's go. Verse uh, <clears throat> verse uh, sixteen. Wherefore is there? No, I just read that. Salakia. Verse seventeen. A friend loveth at all times, and a brother is born for adversity. A man void of understanding striketh hands, and becometh surety in the presence of his friend. 
He loveth transgression that loveth he loveth transgression that loveth strife. So if you love to you love to fight and have chaos around you all the time, that means you you love you love transgression. You love to sin. You're a sinner, and it's, I mean, all sinners are gonna be wiped out from the face of the earth, man. And he that exalted his gate seeketh destruction. And he that lift himself up shall be abased, and he that humbles himself shall be exalted. He that hath a frower heart. Let's see, I know what frower means. Let's get the definition of that though. Okay. Cause a lot of people like this is this is the main this is that main mockers and scoffers spirit. Okay. This is the best definition I see. Habitually disposed to disobedience and opposition. Synonyms. Synonymous with headstrong, self will, and disobedience. So they're always trying to cause chaos. And that's a, that's a mocker and a scoffer for you right there. That's that spirit of a mocker and a scoffer. And they're going to they gonna be in that lake of fire, man. They're going to be left here to burn to a crisp when the missiles hit. Let's see. Uh, Salakia. Okay. Uh, he that... Oh, he that he that hath the frower heart findeth no good, and he that hath the perverse tongue falleth into mischief. Verse twenty one: He that begetteth a fool doeth it to his sorrow, and the father of a fool hath no joy. A merry heart doeth good like a medicine, but a broken spirit drieth the bones. A wicked man taketh a gift out of the bosom to pervert the ways of judgment. So trying to bribe. Because there's a scripture that uh, in the book of Sirach that talks about um, that if a man takes um, bribes, he won't be able to exhort properly anymore. I can't remember the exact scripture, but it's in, I know it's in the book of Ecclesiasticus in Sirach. So a wicked man taking the gift out of the bosom, he's trying to he's trying to bribe his way out of of of, uh, of accountability, pretty much. Verse twenty four: Wisdom is before him that hath understanding, but the eyes of a fool are in the ends of the earth. Okay, so they never really satisfied, really. Let's see. A foolish son is a grief to his father and bitterness to her that bear him. So you, you stress your parents out. Also, to punish the jest is not good, nor to strike princes for equity. He that hath knowledge spareth his words, and a man of excellent, a man of understanding is of an excellent spirit. So that's what that's talking about is there's a scripture that says uh, in the book of Ecclesiastes, I think it's Ecclesiastes chapter five. It says you, you should know a fool by the multitude of his words. OK, it says it says your words should be few as you come before the Lord. Uh, verse, uh, let's see, verse 28, last one. Even a fool, when he holdeth his peace, is counted wise. And he that shutteth his lips is esteemed a man of understanding. OK, and uh, Elder Hawad. He said in the video before, and I always remember he said, he said, you got you got two ears and one mouth. Why do you think the Lord did that? You should be listening. You should be listening double to what you're speaking. Just just be quiet. Shut your mouth. Let let the let the men of the Lord speak. OK, let the, let the apostles and the elder bishops, head apostles, outside, elder bishops, the great millstone speak and you attain knowledge. All right. That's all you got to do. Let the, let the prophet speak. Hey, even myself, you should you should be quick. You should be quick to quick to listen. All right, let's, let's and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go on down to Proverbs chapter one real quick. I'm just gonna get that right quick. All right, it says uh, so this is talking about hearing the knowledge of the Lord. Okay, it says a wise man will hear and increase learning. This is Proverbs chapter one verse five. A wise man will hear and increase learning, and a man of understanding shall attain to wise counsels. Okay. And the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools desp despise wisdom and instruction. All right, but I'm, I'm gonna end it right there. That's just a, this is a quick one. Just want just wanted to want to get one in, feed the flock, do a little some some before I had to head out. But uh, with that being said, man, all praise, honor, and glory unto the heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, or Kakwadash. Double honor to the head apostle slash elder bishop, the great millstone, who teaches, who rule well. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akim. Keep pushing, keep believing, and keep the faith. Regardless of people here, forbear.
Shalom.